What is going on guys? This is Jacob Amaral. Today we're going to be going over my August trading performance with my automated trading systems. I trade over 30 different automated trading systems in the futures market to make a return for myself. If you want to learn more about algo trading, quant trading, see the links in the description below. And without further ado, let's go over my performance for August 2025. It was a down month, down uh, roughly about 2.6% on the account. We had uh, 91 trades for the month. And yeah, not a great month. Let's take a look at the equity curve. Started off the month pretty flat and then the red just kept growing. Near the end of the month, I took some big losses on silver and cattle futures. Uh, they were just big stop losses that hit and honestly, my gains weren't really that big. So those two systems uh, were painful to, to, to go through. Stop losses hit, you gotta follow the models. Can't really do much about that. Um, and it's funny, I launched both of those systems in July, so July 1st, and it's just bad luck. You know, <laughs> you launch those systems in July and then they hit big stops the next month. Uh, it's, it's, it's tough, so it's how it goes. You gotta follow the models. Um, but yeah, that is the month. I've noticed my performance, because uh, in NinjaTrader, you see I have August 1st to September 1st. So I've noticed that if I have trades that have entered before those dates, they won't show. Um, so I think my performance may be slightly off sometimes when I show them monthly. For example, if I had a trade uh, enter, uh, say July 25th, and then it exited uh, August 1st, it may not show the trade sometimes. So I gotta figure that out. I believe it's on exit, so it, actually it should show. But anyways, that's, uh, that's just a, uh, a rant there. So yeah, not great performance. If we see the performance for the month on the S&P, uh, so for August, I obviously underperformed because the S&P went up. Uh, S&P was up 3.5%. So I did not do very well for the month. Uh, it's part of algo trading. You know, you're not going to make money every month and anyone that claims to do so is probably a liar. Uh, but you know, if you stick through your models and you wait for that next, you know, right tail event, it, sh it should happen. If you're doing good work, uh, your math, your edge should play out uh, eventually. It just, it takes a long time for you to prove to yourself that you have edge, right? Is it gonna happen the first month of trading? No. Uh, can you have a bad month? Yes. Will it take six months to a year to potentially happen? Absolutely. You know, there's a lot of big multi-billion dollar funds that are in drawdowns for multiple years, right? Um, and it happens. So you just gotta stick with the models Going, uh, so for September, uh, I've launched about three new systems, taken out one, so I took out one system. I, I take out systems if they lost money over a certain uh, period. So I've taken out one and added three, so I'm netting two, two more trading systems. Uh, trading oat futures and rough rice futures, and the other one was an interest rate product. I forget what it was off the top of my head. Uh, so introducing three, taking out one, uh, netting out two, uh, so excited for that, and uh, usually September's are definitely bearish on the stock indices side. Uh, you know, an, an end to, to Q3 there. Usually summers, uh, the summer is is poor for most companies. Uh, people are just spending less, I think. Uh, so I think we will see a sell off in the stock indices, which we usually see. Um, my cattle position switched long, so that's been up, which is great. I hope that continues. A uh, crazy, crazy trend on, on cattle there uh, with beef, price, uh, beef prices soaring as well. So excited for that. And yeah, just, you know, sticking through it, following the models, not trying to override my systems. It's, uh, it's all part of the game. So anyways, I hope you found value in these videos. Let me know how you did for August in the comments below. I would love to hear your performance. Uh, if you beat me, if you didn't beat me, what you learned, that's always great to share uh, and to grow as a quant trader. So that's it. Uh, once again, if you want to work with me, see the links in the description below, and we'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye.